This call is now being recorded. Hello. Hello. I think uh, ma'am is not yet come. Okay. So we will wait for her. Yeah, we should.
Hello, good morning all. And good morning. Am I audible? Yes, yes. Hello. Good morning. Okay. Good morning. Audible. Good morning. Good morning. Can I start any uh, initial formality or something from regional Yes, center? yes. Yes, we are waiting. You're waiting for somebody? For the beginning. Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, somebody told that actually we should wait for a madam. That's why I thought that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <coughs> am I audible and visible? Yeah, yeah, yes, visible, audible. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, my name is Shimil. Uh, actually, I'm an Ikno Academic Counselor in uh, Trishur uh, Factory Study Center. And uh, I completed MA Psychology uh, and after that, I'm filling Counseling Psychology and qualified net after that now i'm working as a counselor in st Aloysius college mangalore and i am doing my phd in christ university so this is all about me uh, so i'm not uh, taking too much time for introduction at all so uh we'll straight away move to the because here a lot of people are there so i, I don't want a, a individual introduction and all in between you can interact in doubt and all you can chat or a uh, you can unmute and interact. Okay. So, okay. Sir. I'm expecting an interactive session only. So, one second. Kindly, can you kindly request everybody to keep it on mute, please? Yeah, yeah, please.
Kindly go ahead, sir. Yeah, yeah. Stop opening. Can you able to see the slide? Yes, sir. Okay. So uh, today's session actually uh, three sessions are there. So today I planned uh, first in first session what is counseling and introduction. Uh, what are the things you need to understand about the counseling and skills and all. So next session uh, I planned uh, the different modalities. I mean different approaches uh, in the counseling. So this uh, this is I planned uh, because it only two uh, classes are there to complete the theories. So I divided as a first counseling and other approaches and second day, uh, the next day, uh, completely we will focus on family therapy and what are the practical uh, things and all. Okay, is it fine? Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Sir, sir, you can raise your head a little bit. You are down. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Yes, now it's okay. Thank you, sir. So you are able to see the slides now. So first of all, uh, what is counseling according to your understanding? We will start from the beginning, uh, introduction, basic onwards. Somebody you can tell by unmute. Listening somebody and... Uh... Ah. Yes. Uh, it is helping a problem. Uh, yeah. Oh. Of uh, somebody, psychological oh. problem of Take somebody by talk, by talk, uh, dialogue. Okay. Uh, one person said uh, it's a listening and it is actually solving the psychological problem by talking. Okay. Any other opinion? Yeah. Giving a professional help for somebody. Ma'am, uh, uh, it's not actually audible. Can you be a little louder? Uh, giving a professional help. Oh, uh, to oh. somebody who is facing problems in their life in different stages. Okay. Okay. Different stages. Okay. What are that stages, ma'am? What are that stages, ma'am? It can be uh, during the adolescence time, family, uh, regarding the profession. Okay. Okay. It can be that various factors. Okay. Okay. So, ma'am is mentioning. Uh, what is your name, ma'am? What they are? Dr. Preeti. Uh, Dr. Preeti is mentioning that actually different stages, the issues will be different. So it depends upon that. We should uh, do that counseling. Okay. Any other thing? You can chat also. Okay. Uh, other things are what you meant is regarding counseling only, no? Yeah, counseling only. What you uh, uh, under, what, what is your understanding about counseling? What is counseling as per your understanding? Uh, counseling basically depends on like if somebody is very weak with uh, oh. how they can deal or face a situation in life and oh. they may not be able to take a decision on their own okay, so good. in okay. that case mm -hmm. and if they go very weak or uh, whatever like they might be going to a depression stage or something like that uh, okay. Some some persons they may come themselves, or their family okay. might take them for a counseling. So what okay. a counselor can do is help them, motivate them, oh. and give a positive mm. attitude. Okay. Okay. Sir, it may so be the helping. Person only it can actually uh, help yeah. with their mental mental health. Maybe improving their mental health or helping them to improve their mental health. Okay, improving uh, the counseling, counseling, the uh, counseling helps them to uh, go into the deep uh, to their problems and uh, arrive at the decisions. Arrive at decisions, okay. Uh, attending, okay their, uh, attending their emotions. Attending their emotions, okay. Sir, my understanding uh, of uh, counseling is to help the individual uh, to understand themselves. Understand themselves, very good, okay. okay. That's also another aspect, yes. Counseling is a close communication. Okay. Whether it is self or from uh, from a third person. From a third person. Okay. Yes, uh, sir, it is actually uh, ah. we have to give a time for them. Ah. Like we have okay. to listen to them and we have to talk to them. That is the main thing. 
we have to listen to them and we have to talk to them these are the two main process you are saying okay yeah yeah, okay. yeah okay. it is attending and uh, observing listening and responding okay. and personalizing the problem and initiating a solution and evaluating okay. approach sir sir you are a little bit forward <laughs> i think you already referred the books okay yeah that's the steps actually as per the theoretical that's a uh, uh, right steps you told yeah we will uh, we will go into that okay so actually usually when i ask this questions na these are the uh, response actually i usually get uh one second uh like <clears throat> yes <clears throat> but you are a little bit forward i think because uh, you already know almost 60 percentage what is counseling that is why this uh, this types of response is coming okay so normally people uh, think that actually it's a mind reading that's not it's advising advising is only a small part but it is not a exact advising thing as you told it is actually empowering the people to take de decisions and uh, in order to uh, cope up the situations we will they, they themselves actually find the solution for that we just empower and explore and uh, uh, being a friend or caring a parental way yes sometimes it is required but it is not totally that because it is a professional relationship totally a professional relationship uh, and uh, somebody says it's a solution definitely it's a solution uh emerging process but uh, we are not straight away giving the solution to the client actually uh, that uh, during the process the solution evolve uh, evolve from uh, the client and it is a professional yeah. help as i told you uh this picture actually uh, shows uh, what is happening in counseling because uh somebody told that people have uh, this one vulnerability some are actually not able to cope up the situation stress and all so uh maybe because of their personality maybe because of their environment uh, they can't able to uh, cope up they don't have that type of characteristics uh so what we do is actually we are not uh, helping them like this picture actually he himself actually find a tool or solution or a coping skill or a uh, better clarity about if we get a better clarity about the problem he knows how to deal and how to go forward the problem actually uh, the ultimate goal of the counseling is like that only okay it is not a depending dependence thing we actually uh, make them independent to solve the problem this actually i don't uh, take too much time because you already know uh, what is uh, uh, this concept and uh, we will move to the theory <coughs> so what is counseling counseling is actually uh, uh some people are telling it's just a uh, talking process that is a common belief in uh, in uh, among the common people actually it is not like that uh, it has a sp certain principle certain method certain procedure and ethics also so we need to follow all the things so we will check one by one what is it first we will move to uh, before that uh can anybody say a, any one of the definition of counseling any definition sir you said uh, it is empowering the people yeah. so that they yeah. can find their own solution good good okay that's a nutshell uh, but uh, i usually tell the one uh, this one definition that is counseling is an interactive process okay it's a professional relationship interactive process characteristic by a unique relationship between counselor and counselee which leads to change in clients mainly three areas that is uh, area of behavior area of belief and area of emotional distress this three you keep it in your mind when i am talking about counseling this three three uh, things you just keep it in your mind that is uh, sometimes the behavior changes sometimes the belief changes because of faulty beliefs only it is happening sometimes uh, we need to improve the behavior behavior management and all sometimes we need to attend the emotional distress these are the main three areas we are attending in the counseling 
Okay, this is a definition by Lewis and Elizabeth in 2000. So we will move. Excuse uh, me, sir. Princess. Can you repeat the yeah. second point? Can you see, repeat the second point? Behavior changes, emotion. Behavior distress. changes, distress, and belief changes. Belief. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank belief. You. Okay. Okay. Now the principles. Uh, first principle is uh, the counseling should be cooperative in nature. Uh, what do you mean by uh, cooperative in nature? Anybody can tell? What is mean by cooperative in nature? Counseling should uh, be cooperative in nature. Yeah, tell me. Sir, uh, I think I'm, I'm not sure, but yeah, yeah. for an extent, we have to step into the shoes of the client and we have to uh, look after okay. his own perspectives. Okay. Co you're talking uh, is working together working together working together yes that's a uh, ma'am what you told is correct but that, that will come uh, in the skills actually empathy what you told is empathy actually that is very much required during the counseling but here it is yes. mentioned working together okay a collaborative okay. approach it is not a one way approach actually counseling uh, counseling is actually a two way approach which requires active participation from both uh, the counselor and counseling okay because uh, we know that uh, initially the client will not open after uh, developing the rapport only the uh, uh, after developing the rapport only the process will become smooth the client started exploring after that only so uh, the first principle is actually we should be work together in a cooperative nature okay it's reciprocal complementary roles each other and clients client may comes with a specific goal and specific agenda okay so we should not inculcate our belief or our agendas our solutions to the client we just uh, work together to achieve that goal uh, the, uh, as per the client's need whether it is if it is a, a faulty belief means we need to change that there is a process so uh, but it should be in a collaborative cooperative in nature okay next is goal directed i already told uh this a client client has a specific goal uh, uh while coming to the counseling and first he may ask the solution uh from us counselor he may expect the uh, so a particular solution from the counselor but uh later uh by exploring his knowledge and the uh, scenario and all we will reach a particular stage that uh, that is uh, sir already told the personalizing one stage is there that is inside getting stage so he understood that the problem is not with others and not with situation it the problem is actually i can change myself this way and i can overcome this problem that is a ultimate goal of the uh, counseling so all counselings are goal oriented, and it's it is it 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 is not just a talking process. Uh, we should have a goal, uh, uh, the ultimate goal, what we need to achieve, and it should be client centered. Okay, uh, can anybody say what is mean by client centered? Giving importance to the person who seeks oh. help. Okay, good. Uh, Nasia, ma'am said, uh, giving importance to the counseling. Okay. Any other thing? Yes, that is right. Can you uh, go a little be, more deeper? It should not be uh, mm. a generalized thing. It should be more of a personalized thing. What would work for that particular person? <laughs> and uh, not suggesting uh, what what would work for his family or her family in the given situation. Very good. Very good. Uh, Kalam has said uh, rightly the uh, a beautiful point. Actually, each individual is different. We should not give a, a generalized a solution uh, objective for this uh, in order to pro solve the issue. So it depends upon uh, his character, his personality, what would work in his environment. That is more important. Very, very nice point. Yes. Any other?
the client should be more active hmm. we are talking about client centered what is client centered yeah. yeah yeah client should be more active in the process of counseling hmm. client should be more he should active. be open he should be open okay how 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 that uh, that thing can uh, that uh, she should not she or he should not hide uh, yeah but by saying by saying the reasons or uh, or uh, describing his own his, his or her own no. um problems oh, ma sophia ma what are what are you are telling is correct but uh, yeah. i am talking about how we can actually uh, uh, this uh, how we can achieve that process that exploring the client and that is so we have to empathize with the yeah yeah we yeah. have to empathize with the problems of the client and uh, uh, let yeah. them feel that uh, we, we are really helping them and we are with them uh, like that good 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 good, good. the and the yeah. client should be satisfied means confident with the counselor client should be confident with counselor yes yes uh somebody told um, about empathy that is positive regard yeah. should be shown to the client empathy and unconditional positive regard is the key elements in client centered uh, counseling okay good good actually i am going to discuss about that can can you elaborate that um, uh, what is unconditional positive regard what do you understand Uh, unconditional positive regard means the counselor should not be judgmental about the client every okay. individual is unique uh, with uh, his own potentials so uh, okay. the client the counselor should not be judgmental about what the client thinks or feels and he should be given an, uh, an ambience where he can talk freely about uh, his thoughts and his emotions very good very good we will uh, discuss more about the unconditional positive regarding carl rogers concept in person centered therapy i will explain that okay so yeah whatever uh, you said is correct actually uh, counseling is usually client centered uh, the needs and views of the client is very important it should be respected and uh, because uh, maybe the cultural difference is there your belief systems may be different because su suppose example uh the counselor may believe in god but uh, the client actually may be an atheist but you should not inculcate your belief system to the client because he is atheist we are respecting that actually belief okay the, so uh culturally appropriate or sensitive intervention is required and uh, it should be like uh, with the counseling not against the counseling with 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 the counselor okay she or he uh, helps the client uh, to clear about the obstacles along that way by sir, sorry, uh, showing sorry empathy and all pardon sorry to interrupt uh, one yeah. of the point you said that of the three key points you said that belief also was yeah, yeah, corrected yeah 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 uh, i am coming to that yes yes belief system uh, if one's belief system is not affecting the uh day to day living means we should not correct that but if the if the that belief system affecting his uh daily life and that that that, that is the reason for this uh, problem means we need to correct on that but later then the personal uh, personalization stage initial i am talking about the initial stage okay initial stage we should not directly confront about the belief system and all it it should evolve uh, by a uh, certain stage after uh, attending and responding and all the later stage he himself actually understood uh, he can understand that uh, the belief system is the reason for this okay uh hello yes, sir thank you sir thank you hello who asked this question can you yeah, yeah. Agu, uh, thank you so much Okay, okay. I will explain. I will explain the uh, coming stages. Okay. Ah. Namaka. Ah. 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 Ah.
uh, go it should be a goal directed and uh, it should be a client centered client should be respected the client's point of view is important and <clears throat> what are the basic counseling skills so uh, this we will go through the steps of counseling and two things actually we are going to uh, discuss first is steps and in between each steps some specific skills is required okay so you will get the uh, two answers for uh, this presentation the coming presentation that is uh, maybe they will they will ask the steps about uh, what are the steps included in counseling and what are the skills in in counseling so both you will get uh, uh, the coming slides the first step is attending okay we can uh, say it as a stage one initial stage suppose a client is coming to you or a, uh, a client is calling you for an appointment from that onwards the attending uh, steps attending stage starts so attending is a first step in counseling begins with uh, it, it begins with attending attending what is what do you mean by attending is it simply paying attention or what are the things included in it suppose imagine that actually you are sitting in a uh, cabin and a client is actually coming coming inside so from there onwards the first stage attending starts how can anybody explain, can anybody explain? yeah first is what we observe is the gate what we call gait how okay. the person okay. is walking inside good so okay first from that itself we can make out uh, okay. what is the condition of that person then okay. uh, the way he talks and how he responds to our questions and how he responds to our statements okay uh, hello so, i would yeah. like to say that uh, attending would start from the counselor side also by hmm. having a pleasant compliments wishing hmm. him and making hmm. uh, observations Hmm. uh and trying to uh, uh, uh have a rapport with the person who's coming to you for the first time yes yes hmm. Hmm. from the kalamam said from the counseling a counselor side also it should be prepared that he should, he should be ready for that uh, that time should be allocated for that then only he can attend properly okay so uh the early the first actually one person said that it's more about watching the client how he is working inside okay the body language and all yes so counselor actually communicate his interest in counseling and return the counseling will start attending to the counselor this is a process so before this actually we observe the counseling so here is a one skill starts observing observing is the most essential skill the client's appearance that means actually uh, how he is coming how is the dressing and uh, what is the body language posture facial expression body movements and all important factors to be observed by counselor okay by close observation counselor man can make out uh, some inferences about the energy level of the counseling okay the emotional level of the counseling the readiness for a uh, being helped maybe sometimes actually uh, by uh, somebody is actually pressure uh, uh, because of pressure only he is he or she may be coming into the for counseling so we can observe that the readiness of the client by looking for example the client who sits uh, slouched with shoulder and drooped uh, with low energy level we can observe that is yes, uh, this energy level is very low maybe this problem is very much affected to the client okay uh, some facial expressions also we can note it down carefully because uh, by looking at the facial expression we can observe the feeling actually whether he is very much sad what is the uh, emotional uh, mood of the client and that on all we can watch by uh, this movement and facial expression and all the counselor also has to assess the intellectual readiness to receive the help which can be inferred through the observation of facial expression and body movement and posture so 
initially uh, maybe some client may be very resistant in uh, by observing that you can uh, you, you can make out that thing because uh, and he reluctant to uh, give the eye contact and all maybe because of the problem or maybe because of resistance that you need to uh, identify by observing that uh, in this observation when counselor observe physically the level of energy and uh, the how much the problem is affected to the client we can understand suppose uh, he is actually uh, in a shabby look means maybe he has not uh, taken his bath or uh, dressing is not proper means we can observe that it is very much affected to the client by looking at the energy level also we can observe that uh, and later I told you that there's a readiness and interpersonal how he is actually communicating whether it is cooperative or resistance this and uh, this all things actually coming under the observation okay uh, sometimes uh, he or she may be showing incongruence uh, anybody knows about what is incongruence in counseling this is uh, not uh, yeah. Yeah. verbal and non-verbal communication is not uh, matching. This is very good. Very good. Yes, I think Sridhar sir is actually <laughs> well prepared about this uh, theories and all. Yes, incongruence means actually verbal and non-verbal uh, is not matching. Sometimes client may be sitting in front of you, and he may be saying a problem, uh, but he he may be smiling. Okay. He is uh, telling about the problem uh, that may be a, a disaster or something like that, or a, a, a uh, mm, loved one's death, or something like that. He is explaining, but he is smiling. His facial expressions and uh, verbal thing is not matching. That is incongruence we can observe. So in initial stage, by observing stage itself, we we can set a hypothesis in our mind that yes, this person is incongruent, but uh, uh, we will not actually. Uh, uh, suddenly interfere or uh, confront that problem but we can keep it in our mind that hypothesis through observation counselor man make out the uh, by showing incongruence in his behavior and appearance uh, example for example a client may be looking at the floor okay failing to maintain eye contact but he says yes i am fine i don't have any problem but there is an incongruence because his body language says uh, he has a problem, but his verbal says actually he don't have a problem. This incongruence also we can make out uh, during the observation. So observation, uh, these are the points actually coming under observation. Observation, the body language, uh, his way of uh, speaking, and uh, the facial expression, posture, appearance, all things we need to note it down. So we, we can observe that how this problem is affected is physical, uh, emotional, interpersonal, and intellectual level. Okay. Uh, so, uh, next, this is the, in, uh, so we are in the stage of attending stage. Okay. So, uh, in attending, observing is very important. Observing is the first skill you required in attending stage. We are uh, started attending the client. So, observation is over. Next. No, now, uh, the client may be started uh saying something so we are uh we are ready to listen now the very important uh skill that is listening after observation listening skill listening means verbal and non-verbal expressions are important it tells how they see themselves and the world around them when the counselor gives his full undivided attention we require uh, the counselor should give undivided attention. Undivided attention means can anybody say what is undivided attention? Attention and undivided totally attention. Yes. Undivided attention. Without any distractions. Without any distractions. Without any distractions. Without, without any distractions. Focusing on the client. Totally focusing okay. on the client. Totally focusing on the client. Okay, ma'am said uh, without any distractions. Uh, what are the distractions may uh, uh, may can, uh, we can expect during the counseling from count, uh, counselor side? 
counselors may be thinking about uh, uh, their own problems uh, very good very good okay what they have to solve in their uh, day to day yes, affairs or something like that right? yes sir or listening listening to somebody else also partially like yeah. this yes yes sir good attending the uh, mobile yeah. phone attending the call attending the call attending the call very good yes that may be possible yeah rightly said uh, not the uh, external all uh, external distractions also uh, important but more than that uh, internal thing what madam told actually he may be thinking about his problem is uh, today's task and all it it is not a, uh, if he is thinking in his mind that like that it is not undivided attention so a counselor uh, the very important skill is required is undivided attention and active listening then only we can understand the client properly okay uh, listening you know uh, i think uh, no need to explain this it is not a merely i hearing the words understanding the tone and all okay by listening listening means you should what is the difference between uh, a common listener and a counseling in in the counseling what is the difference between the uh, i mean a common man is listening and a counselor listening what is the difference actually counselor will be listening actively fully involved mm. uh, finding okay. out the finding out the expressions from the counselee what uh, facial okay. expressions as well as uh, entire um, movement of the counselee will be observed all these things will happen uh, simultaneously <laughs> by the counselor okay. okay any any other point that that is right but any other point counselor i like to collect this question with the point that uh, we already discussed it is goal oriented that mean uh, the goal of this process is to find solution yes. a counselor must uh, make it as a chance to study the uh, uh, client while he is listening Okay, Attending. I I will make Attending. the question simple. Okay. Attending. Uh, 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 my question is, what are the things actually uh, counselor should listen from the counseling? What are the things? What are the things? Listen to the tone of the voice. He should. Okay, Sri Rajesh said he listen to the tone of. the voice okay the emotion is yeah, somebody somebody hello emotion is emotion we have to listen yeah counselor should be well not prepared. not not audible uh, someone telling something but not audible his emotion we have to listen uh, yeah pretty ma'am said yeah so emotions we need to uh, listen the content first what are the client saying the content we need to listen second thing asrida said said actually the tone of voice that is also important and third uh, somebody said emotions yes that is very important the feeling is very important that is the difference actually the common man's listening and the, the counselor's listening we are actually listening not only the content the feeling also we will listen okay so in listening uh, listening to the content listening to the feeling is very important a counselor's listening so the uh, sridhar so sir said the tone the tone itself actually portrays the feeling because sometimes actually the tone may be uh, uh, by listening the tone we will get what is the emotion emotions he is uh, going to express now okay so
uh, we are talking about listening there are several types of listening sir uh listening and some phases of uh, while listening and comes back occasionally and misses he misses some major portions of content and again he ask what you told that is not right when client may have a feeling that yes this person is this counselor counselor is actually not listening me properly he again 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 asking the same content which i what i told so you need to be very careful this should not wander uh, your mind while listening to the client you can clarify the doubts uh, the clarify the content but again you are asking the same content means the client may feel that yes this person is not listening properly so, so listening is very important mm. so i will say an example okay you should uh, you should tell the content and feeling of the client okay uh <clears throat> suppose uh, i am a counseling okay i am saying uh, uh, i am saying that uh, ma'am or uh, sir my my problem is very sensitive as i told you i am holding a very responsible position in uh, my service but nowadays i am ashamed of myself as far as possible i withdraw from all others because my wife she is well educated but uh, she is behaving like a uncultured person she spreads a bad news about uh, me uh, uh that i am after some other woman she is always suspicious of me and spreads all kind of nasty stories about me uh, so this is my problem okay can anybody say what is the content and what may be the feeling i expressed the the counselor uh, faces a yeah. problem from her his his house his wife wife okay. uh, spreads some uh, um, some some uh, stories about him uh, connecting okay. with some other ladies that is a problem uh, so that okay. creates that creates uh, his he goes his image in front of uh, his colleagues as well as uh, um, supervisors or officers who are maybe he feels uh, uh, i mean uh, good it is not good uh, from uh, his wife part that is a re, uh, this thing and so because of that he is very sad about these incidents good 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 so uh, who said this uh, i am chandrika jayashankar uh uh chandrika ma'am uh, you rightly said actually that is uh, the problem content because of i am sad so there is both content and feeling you observed okay but uh, you are not seeing me if you are seeing me means you we will get a proper uh, this one emotions also because sometimes what happened uh, uh, while talking that actually i may be tightening my fist so you will get a emotions that actually i am angry also okay like that you can observe good good yeah. yes anybody want to say add anything hello okay uh so we are talking about uh, yeah verbal and non verbal person listening yes so in attending uh, there are uh, two skills are required in first stage that is observing and listening observing means we uh, already discussed and listening excuse the undivided sir. attention excuse is required me. in the listening yeah 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 excuse yeah. me sir sir when the ppt me, is not visible could yeah. you make your uh, video on so that we can see you also when the ppt is not there uh, okay okay sure uh, because uh, ma'am here actually the bandwidth is less that is why when i open ppt I... okay okay yeah. okay thank you that is why when i am interacting i will open okay okay uh, now yes second step is responding okay responding means uh, whatever client actually uh, uh, 
storytelling that we actually observed through the content and feeling that we keep it in our mind okay and responding is uh the purpose of responding is enter into the frame of reference of counseling so that the counselor will accurately understand uh accurately understand about the client's experience in the world uh, his his own world and his psychological needs and personal resources okay mm, now we listened the from the counselee and we started responding it so how we respond the same thing actually we understood the content and feeling so whatever the content and feeling we observed we respond to the counselee and what is the actually purpose of this stage can anybody say what is the purpose of this stage responding to enter into the frame of reference of the counselee so the counselor um, the counselee okay. should uh, understand that the counselor is uh, very much uh, confident about his problem and ready to give some solution okay okay good yeah both are right actually the, uh, he can uh, the counselor can enter into the frame of reference and the counselee can understand yes this person is a pardon hello yeah to have faith in the counselor can enter into the frame of reference and the second is yes counselee can get a uh, understanding that yes this person able to help me he can understand my feeling and content okay yeah that is the main sir purpose. and this is a communication context we can say that a feedback is a major thing now uh, we already told we should listen the content and feeling so yeah mm. Mm. feedback is important the feedback is important yeah i mentioned the feedback is important because the counselee can understand that this person is with me he can understand my feeling so he is he or she start exploring more to you if he, you are not responding properly means uh, he may not be exploring further okay so uh, how we can respond actually uh, where we need to uh, respond uh, uh, whatever client says all the things we need to explore or uh, i mean respond what is how how we can respond maybe the client may say actually half an hour uh, uh, about this problems and all so we need to respond it all the things or what is your understanding about that responding not all things huh. but important aspects of the problem okay okay so uh, yeah yeah Tell me. once uh, once uh, we are uh, able to win the confidence of the counselee mm. uh, we can say that okay we will uh, we will find out with the we will find out a solution for his problem mm. and not only with uh, with his uh, uh, with his own notion but the help of other people who are coming into the frame of this problem uh can you little bit explain ma'am because sir sir uh, uh, first time you cite an example that a person who having a good fame in the society and having a good position in the society uh, said that his wife is raising allegation uh, raising always nasty comments about about his personal life here the the key players are husband and wife in a family the key players are husband and wife yeah okay once this person is saying that okay uh, this is my problem we are listening the one side only the second step i'm not sure whether this is correct or not at this stage but the second step is that we have to find out the other side of the coin also Th this is my uh, okay, suggestion how 
how we can find out that so uh, okay yeah. if i ask yeah, yeah. Are this because uh, yeah, okay? But the how first, we can after the first uh, appointment, we understand. Uh, because sir, once uh, when, once we are totally involved with the conversation of that person, anyway, from his verbal and non-verbal action yes, to the thoroughly study of his behavior yes, uh, uh, during the interaction, because we will yes, we, we will get a clue. Because uh, being a lawyer, that is my from experience. I I can say a little. I'm not that much uh, sure, but we will get some mm. clue. Okay, because the uh, from our law, what we learn that both side both sides should be heard, but not immediately. Because from his action, okay. from his uh, uh, behavior, from his. Uh, because if a person is sitting in front of me definitely i will watch his action his words whatever it is so that time we will understand that okay for an extent what he is true Not but we have to listen yeah. yes 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 sir sir am i clear sir yes sir Hello. Okay. Uh, Sir, can you hear me? I am coming to that. Actually, initially we discussed about the non-judgmental approach. Okay. Uh, maybe yeah. uh, he may be telling. Hello. Okay, can you hear me? So, some disturbance is going on. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No? Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, network yes, issue. Network issue. Okay, ma'am. Uh, what, what you actually uh, what we are discussing about the uh, non-judgmental approach. Okay. Initially, you may be thinking that. Uh, can you hear me? Hello. We can hear, sir. We can yes, hear. Sir. Okay, okay, yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, who who asked this uh, question actually? But asked this question. Uh, a lawyer asked this question. No, sir. I I said my oh, okay, okay. Uh, my I, opinion I, I only. Uh, <laughs> I have yeah, said my opinion point. only. That actually, I am elaborating on that. Okay. Actually, uh, while uh, while uh, saying this problem, what was in your mind that time? I said now and sen uh, my issue is actually sensitive because of my wife tarnished in front of others. So what was uh, what are the things actually going through your mind that time? Um, I'm sorry, sir. It may take some time, but shall I explain? Because yeah, yeah, sure, as sure. being a, being a lady, because I say that because. A family because both husband and wife has a good job. Um, only one can one cannot run the show. So, hmm. what is the reason? What is the reason why should she raise such an allegation against a husband? Because this hmm. is a very 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 serious allegation, and the allegation hmm. is coming from the inner circle. Inner circle. Hmm. So, without any spark, other ways there should be a very good reason for that one because this lady and this person already said that my uh, uh, wife is having a um, educated woman still she is saying 
and that time here we have to understand that how much all he is how much all she is and how long they are living together so there, there are lot of factors uh, we have to consider why should she raise such a problem here i am not justifying the wife or the husband but the problem yeah. is that with, as we say that we cannot without a spark there will be no problem that i want to believe because the same hand one once we try to pacify the counselee also at the same time if you want to get a proper uh, re, a solution for the uh, the uh, this problem we have to identify what is the root cause of this problem what is the root cause of this spark that okay. is my suggestion sir okay okay i got it but uh, uh, initially while you are attending your client we have already discussed that actually it should be non judgmental and unconditional positive regard and all okay the client uh, because now the important uh, important for in this process actually important person is the client okay the client uh, felt sad and he become angry so his emotions and uh, his sad and his feelings are all important now okay later you said uh, later actually we can attend if we get a insight we can interfere in that but initial itself actually we uh, we are non judgmental and uh, we actually doubting the behavior of client means it will not move forward okay my what we said is maybe correct the root cause is maybe different but now the client is important for us client's feeling is important for us for genuinely we have to attend the client's uh, uh feeling and content then only uh, the he he can reach in, in a particular point actually he can reach an insight that this is not this is actually my problem and i need to correct my side and she need to correct on the, her side but initially we actually we are keeping in our mind about this means uh that genuinity will not be there during that process okay Sir, so there uh, two things are there. Yeah. not only judgmental we will be a mm. uh, doubtful uh, uh, we will be becoming a doubtful person about the client that also is yeah, not good. correct is it y- yes 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 okay uh, proceed ma'am yes sir yeah have you got that point actually initially actually yeah, we, the... we are doubting that client yes, the uh, process will not be uh yes, correct okay. correct oh, okay. correct oh, correct okay. correct okay. okay thank you uh, uh thank you for raising that point actually that uh, that is very important this in practically while actually you maybe you are actually attending to the client now itself but when while you started attending the client this will again come to your mind because uh we will connect with our experience that we we call transference the counter transference transference and all that we will discuss later okay okay thank you sir yeah. uh yes no responding so in this responding uh, we uh, respond to the content and feeling first we observe the content and feeling and we observe so many times what happens the feeling of the client may not be evident from the verbal expressions of of client for example uh, while telling the incident the client may be punch at the chair or tighten i told you earlier i tighten his fist it may be because of which uh, emotion angry anger anger it may be because of anger so we need to observe the uh, body language also while observing okay so after that we can respond by uh, collecting the content feeling and body expression and all we can uh, respond to the client so uh, the earlier incident what i told this is the tarnishing incident we can say that you are confused about the we can Uh, respond like this okay you are so much confused about wife's behavior and you feels angry towards her because she 
uh, tarnished your name in front of others okay this way we can respond how i got this response by observing the uh, clients uh, expressions i observed that yes this feeling is anger and i observed the content content is actually wife tarnished and he uh, he actually confused what to do he is saying that what to do this is happening to my life so he is confused what to do so i can respond like this you are confused uh, you are confused about the wife's behavior and you feel angry towards her because she tarnished your name this way we can paraphrase she may be saying uh, these things in an elaborate way but we need to observe what are the things we need to respond uh, uh, one of you rightly said actually we can we need to pick some points where we need to pick okay we need to pick the emotions and the exact content and we need to respond from by responding like this uh, he uh, or she the client understand that actually this person can understand me so he can help me so i can explore more so the later stage when you if you respond correctly then she or uh, the counselee started exploring more okay uh, yes so uh, during this stage uh, some of the other uh this is also uh, skills also required that we will discuss later okay now we will move to the third step that is personalizing uh i already sir, told personal sir your pardon? presentation is not seen sir oh sorry sir out of curiosity uh, what should be the initial response in such a situation which one sir uh, you said an uh, example uh, uh -huh. wife tarnishing angry uh -huh. and then the emotion is confused uh -huh. so what should uh -huh. be okay. the initial response of the counselor initial response of the counselor yes sir uh i'm not getting you Init the initial response only I, that that only i told actually we need to respond paraphrase the things to the counselor Okay, initial sir, response you. means inside the uh, uh, can can you say exactly what what you mean no no you understood the client you understood oh. his uh, content you understood oh. his feeling you understood okay. his emotion okay now okay. what is the best way as a counselor will be your first response mm. sorry i have de deviated me sorry Go no, 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 actually, you yeah. can explain. I am not getting the point exactly. That is why, sir, from counselor's point of view, counselor's point of view. Paraphrasing, he can be responded through paraphrasing. That's first. Yeah, like that. Sir, what he is asking is, what should be the first response? First, uh, first response should be that uh, the responding to the feeling and content. What the counselor is told. Correct. <laughs> Yeah, that you yeah. only you already explained that you are yeah, very. Explain, uh, yeah, that is why. Right. Yeah. Uh, okay, I will explain one more. That is first. Actually, we are attending to the client. Okay, uh, so client started. Uh, we we are observing and listening to the content and feeling. Content means actually the uh, uh, what he is explaining about the problem and all. And we observe the because of that problem, what is he is feeling. So that also we observed, and after observing that. the client after saying the client actually he he may uh, stop somewhere okay so in that point we can respond the initial response from the counselor so in that response we need to say the content and feeling of the client what he told that is initial response and uh, by saying that response client explore more because client uh, client have a feeling that yes this person is with me so he uh, the client started explaining more that is the uh, this one uh, importance of the, this one responding thank you so much so, okay now the we move to the third uh, stage that is uh, personalizing uh, so somebody initial stage uh, told srijit sir or some 
uh, some other person told that personalizing is a stage client gets an insight okay suppose in this problem uh, the pretty ma'am uh, said uh, the root cause may be different he may be uh, having some affair that he may be denying that so initially he you know, uh, he he uh, blamed to the others and he blamed the environment and all but in personalizing stage is different the, it is very difficult to reach in personalizing stage okay most of the client actually uh, will be resistance to accept their other on uh, area to improvement and all. so uh, for this personalizing stage in, in order to reach the personalizing is so much skills is required and experience is required like uh, uh, the uh, genuineness respect and uh, this one we already told them unconditional unconditional positive regard and empathy all these things is required the empathic response lead to exploration so uh, where they st uh, this is a, personalizing is a stage where they start understanding themselves and others it is quite human to blame others uh, actually we in all counseling all counseling starts with actually blaming others blaming environment and all they cannot able to and initially they cannot able to understand uh, what is their role in their role in that problem okay so those who uh, come for family counseling uh, normally blame his partner that is an example here normally blame this partner or his or her partner as a root cause of problem but initially we are uh, non judgmental and unconditional positive regard we attend the client content and feeling so later after attending the uh, by using the skills later uh, he may she reach the personalizing stage the personalizing stage so in personalizing stage counselor helps the counselee to become aware that her part or his part in this problem that is called that is owning up the responsibility by himself and herself uh, to make this possible uh, you may be heard about the real self and ideal self okay uh, to uh, this is uh, again roger's concept i will explain later uh, because uh, we are not ready to accept our real self we always project our ideal self and explaining around the ideal self but in personalizing stage uh, we understand our real self and accept the real self uh, they may be unhappy with real self okay that is why they are projecting their ideal self and they are hopefully they can become their ideal self so the purpose of this stage is enable the counselee to understand uh, where where he is now and where he wants to move forward so this stage will get a clear clarity about the in client's mind that actually where i am standing now what is my role in this problem how i need to improve what are the things i need to do from my side so personalizing assist the counselee in uh, initializing his or her experiences okay uh, any doubt any questions from this no sir okay okay then i will ask one question okay uh, so i said i feel angry because uh, she tarnished me in front of others this is a sentence i am saying okay so if a client gets uh, uh, insight what may be his or her response in this this is the content initially he said i feel angry uh, no we said actually you uh, you feel angry because of she tarnished uh, you about the uh, you uh, she tarnished about you in front of others so if we get the insight this is a hypothetical question okay that's a, it's not a this one you can just imagine and say so you ended to 
his favor favorance so oh. he will accept it you will say that uh, yes you are right like this council will say if you are otherwise right. okay okay otherwise he may he, he may come forward with the further what is real reality uh, in real thing what is it likewise he will come forward with the facts real facts good good yes 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 that he that's might this. be feeling helpless and hopeless Mm, he may feeling yeah that is also possible yeah Hello. yeah huh? yes any other response sir uh, i didn't get the question hello sir can you explain the question yeah. once more explain the question yeah once more. question please yeah the thing Find is the actually answer. initially he is saying that actually this problem is because of my wife actually tarnished and he uh, she unnecessarily actually uh, suspicious about me she may, she says that i i am actually uh, behind some other girls this is the initial response okay so because of that i actually i am angry that is the uh, the initially he says like that only but later uh, he realized the exact thing what is his role in his problem so what may be the uh, response change i mean the uh, counselor's response after this in uh, after he realizing the insight getting the insight and out uh, that person might feel uh, guilty if there is some mistake done from his part and mm -hmm. he may he But, might rethink about leading a peaceful life okay and, good, good. Uh, compromise with his wife and uh, that is all yes yes the the duty of the counsel is to uh, comfort him uh, console him and uh, make him understand the mistakes and uh, come back to the and hmm. come back to the happy life okay, okay. leader okay counsel um, should ask the counsel uh, what is your role in the problem so then uh, counsel there should be a talk between counsel and counsel and the, after that that stage counsel should understand that the problem is but a clear clarity should be there in that for the counsel then he or she will accept it uh, self, self analysis uh, and change uh, he may express his willingness for a compromise because Very not good, yeah. uh, He yes, may sir. he may express, not fully, but he may he may lend his hand for a compromise talk. Yeah, uh, so I think that is the beginning of the stage. stage. I guess uh, that would be self analysis and change in attitude. Very good, very good. I think in the beginning of this stage, maybe you can ask the uh, client or counselee that is, why do you think your wife is doing all this? What do you think could be the reason? then he may start thinking okay this is because of this this is because of that and then maybe you can slowly slowly make him realize what all could have gone wrong and what all he thinks the problems are and and then slowly he will become aware okay okay i must not have done yes. this i must have done this i think yes, that yes. might be a good way i don't know that's what i have experienced yes, yes. you are right very right dr sita what you said is actually right in during the personalizing stage uh, we slowly after uh, attending and responding and all uh, we console the emotions and all we actually empathetic and all but uh, for reaching this personalizing stage some confrontation is required okay confrontation not against the counselee with counselee that's a beautiful question dr sida said what may be the reason actually the uh, wife is saying about you okay so we can actually explore that questions question so he may thinking in other perspective also why why actually uh, she is uh, unnecessarily telling me whether he is there is any fact she he started introspecting himself yeah that is right but initially actually we can't confront uh, the client because uh, we need to develop the trust and rapport and first we need to console 
and we need to empathetic towards their emotions and all yes but that later, is what you rightly yeah. said in the second stage that is we yeah. i think we can mirror that is mirroring what the patient say the client yeah. says i can fully understand that you are so angry and upset by what your yeah. wife um, has said and how she is behaving and also yeah. by the insults that humiliation that you are facing in your office or work place i can fully yeah. understand it's normal to feel anger and um, you know, sadness Very good. and disgust yes. then i think okay oh yes this person understands me how i feel and then only yeah. i think as you rightly said we can start, even think of moving into the third stage good ma'am that is a process that is a process first second and third uh, <clears throat> so in this uh, the counselors approach also changes okay the personalized things were initially we said uh, you feel angry because you have your wife tarnished uh, in front of others now if we get an insight and he started introspecting he started uh, thinking about the uh, his uh, owning up the uh, problem then if we if counselor feel like that we can change the response like this in initial uh, personalizing stage like this you feel angry okay later actually maybe the emotions may be changing okay he he or she can owning up the problem so she, he can say like this you are feeling guilty guilt or because uh, because of without the awareness of your wife you you are actually calling your uh, uh maybe colleague or a colli uh, other other woman other woman so something like that other other girl so something he may be accepting that time actually we can uh, respond like that okay but it should be careful by experience you will um, uh, understand that the response can change in personalizing stage uh, by owning up the problem we can change the uh response statement okay <clears throat> uh yes now are you able to see the slide yes okay yes yes so Uh, yeah so three uh, three stages actually we studied first is uh, attending stage in attending stage observing and listening skill is very important second responding responding stage in responding stage uh, so many skills are required that is empathy genuineness uh, unconditional positive okay. regard respect okay i am actually explaining in this slide and third stage is personalizing stage uh once uh, the client reached in personalizing stage he or she may get the insight about that problem and uh, uh he may own up the responsibility of that problem he may change he may uh, started thinking about the change of uh his behavior or attitude and belief and all okay so uh, th this we will discuss we, are, we already discussed actually uh, listening skill that is undivided attention uh, 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 active listening is required uh, listening to the meaning listening to the feeling and listening to the content empathy empathy you know uh, what do you uh, can anybody say what is empathy what is difference between sympathy and empathy this is always a confusing thing empathy and sympathy sympathy is a situation where in other others through putting ourselves in others through and find out what it, uh, it to uh, to really uh, understand the feeling of others uh, okay empathy a uh, sympathy that sympathy is uh, mm. sir sir sympathy is feeling about the person ah yes yes okay. and and yes. empathy is feeling with the person empathy yes, is sir. feeling with the person okay that is right can you uh, yeah anybody say one more got our uh, response to the pain of others one is sympathy is crying with uh, others and empathy is about uh, finding a solution of the other and uh, uh -huh. not feeling the uh, feeling himself or herself 
good good i would like yeah. to cite with an example sympathy yes. is if I, may i talk may i Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, uh, I would like to side with an example. See, sympathy is suppose if a person is coming and telling, if your client is telling you, I feel, I feel so angry, I feel so angry because my mother is behaving like this, she's behaving like this. Huh? So then you also sympathize with the per person. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, you, uh, you, I feel so sorry for you. Um, your mother is so hopeless. Your mother is so bad. Your mother is uh, not understanding you at all. So that is actually not a healthy thing to offer. empathy means you will say that i can understand that you are feeling angry that um, your mother is shouting at you or your mother is not understanding you now let's see how we can help you i cannot fully understand so now let's see how you can help yourself or now uh, what how i can guide you something like that that's what i want to shoot okay okay mm. yes yes that is uh, both are correct actually that uh, empathy is a intellectual identification of person's feeling and thought okay intellectual identification of person's feeling and thought we are actually not uh, fused with that emotions we are just intellectually identifying that uh, person's emotion in sympathy actually we fused with that person's uh, emotions and we also express that the same emotion here uh, the thing is the ability uh, empathy is the ability of uh, intellectual identification with person's feeling and thought attitude okay when counselor is empathetic to counselee uh, somebody said actually he put himself Sorry, in slide, slide please slide is slide please slide uh, nothing is there actually just i uh, empathy only i wrote there can you able okay to sir yeah yeah okay okay <clears throat> so uh this is a difference mainly uh we are actually not uh, uh fused with that feeling we are intellectually identify that person's feeling attitude uh and thoughts uh we put uh he puts himself in his place okay in his shoes is it explain empathy the counselor understand what counselee feels perceive and yeah. counselee is experiencing and communicating the same to the counselee okay in sympathy what happened in sympathy you got emotionally involved with that person but in empathy we are not uh, involving emotionally involving with that person okay we are just intellectually identifying that person's emotions and uh, we we give a feeling that we are with you we can understand your feeling i am i am with you like that okay the person whereas in empathy the intellectual and uh, intellectual understanding of that emotions and in uh, sympathy you got emotionally involved in that person that is the difference so a counselor need empathy not sympathy uh, what happens if a, a, a counselor actually express started expressing the sympathy what will happen in counseling the pain of the he counselor will increase counselor <laughs> 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 counselor will also cry or <laughs> hey, hey, the, the problem uh, the problem, will <laughs> yes, yes, problem will be one side yes. <laughs> yeah yeah problem will be one side yeah and counselor wonder actually yeah. that actually he is more more <laughs> emotional and uh, more than uh, me actually he is more emotional about this problem so how sh this person can help me that may be the feeling of counselor also okay so you know so you will not be in a state of mind to resolve the issue in that case yes very good yes yes he is not uh, ready to actually solve that problem yes we because, cannot uh, guide, guide the client yeah. he cannot able to guide the client because he is fused with that emotions yes good good you know that point <clears throat> uh, that is empathy and respect uh second skill is respect this this are these are the skills you required uh, during the counseling throughout counseling especially responding stage and all so what is respect uh if i say you have to respect a client what does that mean yeah i already told you know respect the feeling of the client oh okay we should have we should consider 
any other thing so you told an example earlier that if the client is an atheist and if you are oh. Uh, uh, respect for what he is good 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 good, good. yes uh, so we uh, actually uh, we do not blame the client okay the counselor who respect the counselee has a faith in his potential okay his personal growth and solving the problem the person may be against your ethics against your culture but uh you should respect her culture her ethics uh i mean uh her potential everything okay so that that is mean by uh, respect yes so uh mm, what is the difference between respect and unconditional positive regard somebody told unconditional positive regard that means unconditionally we are accepting that person as it is respect ah oh. yes sir sir you have to unmute sir sir please unmute and then speak yes unconditional positive regard is uh, whatever uh, the other person does and mm. uh, uh, our response should be positive mm. Mm. respect, respect. Is, uh, subjective respect is subject subjective oh. yeah both are subjective both are subjective sir both are almost same actually that yeah, is yeah, sometimes yeah, uh, yeah. Mm. sometimes uh, we call a respect as unconditional positive regard okay both are same sir uh, excuse me sir one more doubt yeah. sir this yeah. unconditional positive regard means this is is this is a tool to win the confidence of the uh, counselee because we have to accept who, what he is hmm. yeah uh, so uh, by understanding uh, this and we have to find out a solution but but uh, hmm. without changing him much without changing him much is it possible sir uh suppose okay. example mm. can you say an example then i will i uh, i'll elaborate on that parents sir i didn't get sir okay can, can you say a, a example of a problem oh uh, sir you said that uh, uncon unconditional positive regard if a person is very adamant about his stand because yes i am i i haven't done any mistake i haven't done any mistake because most of the people are saying including yeah. me also because we have a we have a feelings that we are always right yes, but yes. only after a long process we uh, we try to understand also that okay for some extent we went wrong we went wrong but in 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 these matters almost all the person 90 95% persons are thinking that okay we are right we are right my question is is this is the attitude is called as unconditional positive regard uh ma'am uh unconditional positive regard yes if the person is saying i am right i am right but actually maybe uh, he may be wrong but we are actually initially not expressing con uh, confronting that thing to him okay it's a long process uh, suppose uh, after uh, after attending uh, and responding and all maybe after some time he may be reaches a stage that yes uh, i am not completely wrong uh, right uh, in some part actually i need to correct myself if he is reaching that stage means we reached the personalizing stage if he is not at all reaching means he may discontinue the counseling okay he may approach other counselor because he know that he start we started confronting him and he is not ready to change but at that time we can't help him 
okay at it's that time okay. we, we can't help him yeah. that is why some uh, some clients are actually uh, by uh, reaching the uh, confrontation stage he may discontinue because he don't want to accept his mistakes so that may that may also happen so he can discontinue okay that means uh, where we can uh, where we can assume that yes he is ready to open his mind from that point we have to start our uh, journey you know sir yeah correct correct yeah okay, correct. okay. up to that actually we need to maintain unconditional positive regard okay. and he should not feel uh, he uh, actually questioning or confronting against him okay that is a um, long process yeah okay cannot explain in verbally yeah. okay sir okay sir. Uh, that means uh, from his verbal and non verbal action we will get that uh, clue correct correct okay thank you sir so unless and until this count counselor uh, and that to the frame of reference of the counseling uh, oh. he, he or she is not going to uh, accept whatever counselor says and uh, then personalizing also will not work personalizing also will not work <laughs> That, that is a that is the main uh, hectic uh, not hectic that is a main task for a counselor uh, to reach him or her to the personalizing stage okay yeah. that is yeah. not easy yes. lot of skills yeah. and experience is required for that yes so how much more time we have in this session uh, sir uh, i'll finish this session 15 minutes then again we have to reach your okay same link now concrete yeah you have to uh, rejoin in same link and your attendance yeah. i think they yeah, already, already sent one uh, this one yeah google Excel sheet or something they told google sheet okay uh, okay <clears throat> uh so concreteness what do you uh, anybody know what is concreteness uh sir uh, can i ask one question i am marquis see i am sure sure sir. Uh, is, sir i am i think i am the senior most citizen of the participant i am 74 years old and okay. uh, i did my ma 78 i want to this msc to do for the purpose of uh, achieving phd so i want to know one or two doubts number one uh, what about the attendance is it compulsory or is it automatically uh, recorded by your office number one number oh. number two i didn't get that uh, theory theory books Practic practical i got theory books even i get even a single um, a subject to whom i should approach okay. nobody is saying like that and i was told by the other participants that nobody has received a theory papers number 3 okay, okay. for any guidance from uh, new delhi because my education was through all, all over india i did my slc in kerala intermediate program alabad board ba from punjab and ma from pune for all the courses yeah. i was attending distance model and i was mm -hmm. getting all the great book question paper solved question paper all those from new delhi, new delhi by publishers publishers here on inquiry i was told that no such books are available in kerala So, will you please give me any address of a publisher in Delhi, so that I can contact and get the all the books as per syllabus and the old question paper solved and also the guide. Please guide me. Sure, sure, sir. Uh, after this break, one, I will give you the number. Okay, should we send this coordinator number? Okay. This and all dealing with that coordinator only. Uh, okay. I don't know exactly about that things. So, anyway, I will give that number after this break. Okay. Uh, We have session coming up on Monday for this, the, the, uh, for clarifying the, the, the Monday. Yeah. Oh. Monday. Okay. Give me any uh, any guidance about that. Other question paper or the textbook or old question paper solved from Delhi publishers. Any publishers? Almost all the publishers in Delhi are publishing all the books required in Indian universities more than thousand. Okay. Okay. Sure, sir. Sure, sir. I will give the particular person's number. You can ask the her. Uh, the, 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 the funny thing is that 
uh, some of our faculties are in doubt whether the syllabus has changed for this year, 2021. So I, I was astonished to uh, hear that. So the syllabus is changed, it's not knowing either the uh, um, coaching center or, or study center. So why don't they give the proper guidance to the study center? Syllabus has not changed, the same cells will be studied this year also, like that. It's a simple matter. Mm, yes, sir. This is important. Mm, uh, sir, uh, actually, I am not aware about these things because ah, yeah, all yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> dealing with the study center, that uh, admin party is actually dealing with other person. So, uh, one thing yeah, is I, I will tell your query to the study center and uh, I can give you the contact number also. Okay. No, no, will okay. you please give me your contact number so that I can contact it to you, one person, responsible person, or giving that proper guidance? <laughs> Ah, the theory part and this one, uh, practical part and all, I can help you. Okay, okay well, that's okay. Anyway, any sort of help, either practical or theory, or getting information from Delhi for a proper guides and books. And that. Sure, sure. I, I'll give you end of the session. I'll give you. This is another case, I, I have just completed last month the uh, English community for Regional Institute of English, Bangalore. See, the system is very mm -hmm. clear. Mm -hmm. You need not give any attention. Yeah, give that to sir. If your uh, speech is very weak, they automatically adjust it. All faculty will uh, oh. deliver the lecture. A technician is there, attends, um, uh, faculty uh, responsible for <laughs> the attendance. Sir. All they will Excuse do me, is... There is another, there is a session tomorrow at 6 p.m. to clarify all the doubts. The study center is organizing one session. So okay. All oh. the doubts will be cleared then. No, no. Okay, ma'am, uh, whether they have shared the link Ah, okay. For, for, for the information, special one or three persons, personal number, so that we can contact the person. Group is there. Group is also another lot of, lot of things. Mm -hmm. See, we can get the help from the group. We, we can get the help from the competent authority or competent faculty or competent administrator. If you do, do and what not to do, how can you get, get, get all the help from so and so person? Like that. Like that. Okay, sir. Um, anyway, uh, I will take up your query. I'll tell. And uh, tomorrow, I think uh, there will be uh, this one session uh, already to students. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, okay, so you okay. will get a clarity, I think, tomorrow. Another okay, thing sir. is that uh, in my last session in Bangalore, first week they used to change the link every day. Then I took the matter hmm. with the comment authority, higher authority. They then fixed a permanent link throughout the class hmm. for the six months. Yes. So there is no need. That, uh, which uh, link will be there tomorrow and day after tomorrow like that? That is fixed for the entire course. Okay. It's a technical problem. I don't know whether it can be possible or not. But it was possible in Bangalore after one week. Mm -hmm. Okay, sir. Anyway, um, I'll take up with this and uh, I'll tell to the study center. Okay, they will be sending you. Your name is Vargis Vargis PJ. Uh, again, the study center and the uh, exam center, both are having some uh, gap of communication, I think. I think let us continue with the class. And Alapura and... Uh, Sunil, sir, please continue with the class, sir. Yeah, yeah I'm continuing. Yes, yes. Sir, Vargi, sir, okay. uh, your queries will be attending tomorrow, okay? Uh, because we don't have okay, much okay. time. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you very much for cooperation. Okay. Thank you. So concreteness, we are talking about the concreteness. Uh, so some clients may be have a tendency to talk a lot about different things, which may want they wanted to deviate from the, their problem. OK. Uh, so in this thing, actually, we need to bring them back. It is at those time, concreteness will be a great use of counselor and client. Where it is required, actually, the sometimes the client maybe have a tendency to talk uh, apart from the problem. Okay. So the the counselor uh, will lead to the counselor to express his problem in concrete terms. <laughs> Otherwise, he may he or she may be talking the irrelevant things throughout the day. Okay. If he is actually deviating from the problem and started talking the other things. We need to bring them back. That is concreteness. This is a uh, this is also a skill required for counselor. Okay. Suppose example, uh, 
uh, the council is saying for example i will say uh, nowadays uh, nowadays mother in law are big problem for most of the married girls okay the council is saying nowadays mother in law are a big problem for most of the married girls they don't respect their daughter in law after all the modern girls are well educated and employed earning their own this is a statement okay the council is saying so here also uh, how we can concrete this uh, statement here uh, the council is generalizing the statement you got it uh, the concreteness is suppose the council is generalizing the statement or uh, he is saying uh, other irrelevant things apart from the problem we need to bring them back okay this is a one uh, example so how can uh, bring this council back anybody so where we stopped something like that we can ask or yes, good good or uh, suppose he is generalizing things like this uh, or nowadays all mother in law has a big problem so we can specify that problem like this i assume that you are trying to reveal your personal experiences yes. okay okay like something like that you got the point we can also ask her to specifically share her own problems yes yes very good so that is concreteness and uh, genuineness genuineness means uh, the concurrence between uh, the counselee's communication and what he is thinks and his verbal things and all okay and the counselor should be genuine uh, he should be a uh, counselor means actually honesty with oneself with the counselee okay uh, the counselor should be ready to help the counselee in genuine way okay if he is keeping uh, something in his mind as yes, this counselee is uh, uh, not uh, i can't attend this counselee because uh, uh, her point of view is, is not convincing for me like that actually he is actually keeping his mind there will be an incongruence that uh, counselee can easily notice okay. so the counselor should be uh, genuine that means actually genuinely the counselor should be honest and uh, genuine to the communication and he should be genuinely ready to help attend the counseling okay uh, sir, sometimes we'll ask sir i have a doubt sir i have a doubt can i ask, sir, yeah, I ask, can yeah, I ask one question sir sir yes, please, so sir, I, think that, I think that uh, i had uh, taken to a few, a few persons uh, to the counselor and from no. my uh, life experience i understood that No. first of all the counselor uh, had to make c b m confidence mm. building matter c mm. so mm. that uh, counseling of the student girls one girls one boys one was mm. not successful from my point of view because the counselor mm. of the student did not have that building confidence building matter but mm. he must be uh, proper in dress proper in way of talking first he should uh, try to get the confidence of the patient to whom we have mm. brought him so i also uh, said uh, i was with him for few minutes and in that time mm. i was told to go out then okay i went out but from the very appearance i understood that the, the psychologist and the student the patient is not at mm. all um, in a best, better mood so he he had to as yeah, a yeah, counselor yeah. Right, from my point of view as a counselor confidence building measure is a most important thing Uh, to be uh, given counseling to a patient yes sir that's all yes sir yes sir yes sir you rightly said if we are in a uh, not a good mood to attend the counseling uh, just stop the counseling that is that is good thing okay but just stop the counseling and you can postpone the session otherwise if you are if your mind is not ready you are in a not good mood means if you are continuing this means you should not be genuinely uh, uh, you cannot be genuinely attend the counseling so it is better to stop there and you can postpone the session yeah uh, madam is asking okay, something sir. okay 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 thank you thank you sir yeah next is reinforcement 
reinforcement we know we uh, usually call it as excuse a excuse me sir is, yeah ma'am yeah, tell me here yeah. I, i have a doubt i have a doubt sir you said that he, this counselee who made a general comment about uh, this uh, mother in law and like uh, that uh, uh, so uh. what would be what would be our reaction in in the case of verbal and non verbal because we cannot hide we have to we have to hide as a counselor we have to hide our emotions whatever uh. it is so what would be our reaction on that time uh when ma'am when he, you said that this uh, this counselor said yes this uh, nowadays the daughter in law are so yes, are the man to us to us his mother in law so it's all such a comment it's a general comment yes, so general that comment. time uh, that time what would be if i'm a lady okay okay you can assume that what will be my reaction if a counselor is a uh, male uh, so the, the reaction will be different so irrespective yeah. of the gender what would be the reaction of a counselor on that time okay um, that time actually uh, he he or she wanted to say specific to his personal thing but he uh, he is saying uh, the uh, she is saying actually the as it as it has a general thing okay so we need to bring that personal thing uh from the counseling that is why we uh, said that actually we assume that you are trying to reveal your personal experience so in our mind it should it should be not be biased okay it should not be biased okay. to mother in law it should not be uh, biased to daughter in law okay, okay. we should Okay. we should explore uh, a person's experience that's all we should explore that person's experience we should not be biased to uh, any other uh, this one counselor or uh, uh, i mean counselor or uh, this mother in law hello so hello? we have to keep uh, we have to keep silent on that time or excuse no, me we, we we need to uh, explore more we should okay, not okay, uh, okay. say any sentence uh, biased Yes, okay, I agree okay. that yes, this mother-in-law uh, are like that, no, not like that. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, sir, understood, understood. Okay, understood. Sir, can it be told like this uh, that you feel annoyed that all daughter-in-laws are uh, uh, madam and nowadays, uh, but it is a a general statement. Do you have any personal uh, experience? Uh, personal uh, experience in that? Yeah. <laughs> the same meaning. <laughs> same meaning. We can uh, we can explore his personal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. Be yeah. Sir, yeah. Sir, can we just correct the client by saying that it may not be the same case with everyone? No. No. Can we do no. that? No. 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 Okay. No. We should not uh, say yes or no. Uh, that is his point of view or client's point of view. We should explore what he is going to say. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, so next is reinforcement that we know we usually call the stroke in transactional and all. Uh, if we observe the some strength of a client, we have to reinforce that. Okay. That you know. This is a, a, a one of the technique to build rapport. Okay. Suppose in initial stage we discussing about uh, uh, the personal things and all. so if we notice that this person is a musician he is more interested in music and all we can reinforce that oh is it what are the things actually uh, you like in music and that that things what are the things you achieved that oh it's great something like that we can reinforce that will that that is a technique to build a rapo initial stage sir uh, is it equivalent to um, positive strokes some po uh, equivalent yes, to yes, giving correct, some correct. positive strokes correct correct It's positive stock only reinforcement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used this, this this term. That's all. Yeah. Uh, and confrontation we already discussed. Confrontation is not against the client. It it should be with the client. Okay. We just slowly we need to uh, ask the uh, his role in that problem. That should be very careful confrontation. and empathy we already discussed uh, this unconditional positive regard accepting people as it is uh, and this ethics yeah in ethical part uh, the very important thing is confidentiality uh, while doing the practical things uh, i noticed that last year i noticed that uh, 
some of the students are mentioning the uh, name and address of the client not mention that confidentiality is the first thing we need to maintain in ethics uh, some students actually uh, put a photo of their client and all no uh, you can uh, give a fake name or uh, you can give abc something like that but uh, you should be uh, protect the confidentiality of the client that is very important but sometimes sometimes you need to break the uh, this one also confidentiality so anybody know uh, what is a, where is the situation actually we need to break the confidentiality when the client so i, I can say morning yeah. sir morning sir yeah one, one person can say ma yeah sir i can say when there is a any dame are you are you getting sir Yes, yes, yes. Please. Ah, uh, uh, sir, I am uh, Mrs. Rosamma. Joined uh, just now only because I didn't get the link before. Anyway, oh. the confidentiality where we have to break, where the damage can occur in both the places. Like, if it is, if there is a, if the uh, counselee is having uh, going going to damage the op opposite party is going to kill or any confidentiality okay. about like uh, uh, some theft is happen and they wanted to bring out. So okay, those good. type of situation, the confidentiality should be broken, and it should be immediately, um, yeah. uh, uh, immediately it should be noted to the higher authority for uh, protecting the person. Good, good, good. So that 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 is the confidentiality where we should break it. Otherwise, the confidentiality of the counselee should be maintained throughout their counselling session. Uh, if it is not at all going to. damage anybody any like any opposite party or herself if if yes. a person is counselee is also is going to get any damage then that that should be uh, taken out because some people will be some psychiatric problem also they must be having so uh, we should be uh, we should be taken care of that also yes uh, sir you are saying uh, that homicide sir? or suicide yeah yeah yes yes definitely definitely sir yes. uh, can i speak sir vargis here vargis yeah regarding confidentiality yes uh, about uh, about the topic confidentiality i have one point to make yes yes sir so initially parents if anything goes in wrong in a family they mm -hmm. keep it confidential and as a result mm -hmm. that uh, uh, the problem arising more and more because nobody knows what is going on there if somebody knows and they can give proper guidance in that case here the mm -hmm. confidentiality at home is creating further problems uh, for uh, for all the family members number one number yeah, two yeah. if it uh, if that patient is uh, uh, allowed to contact that psychologist as early as possible hmm. some of the problems could be solved right there immediately but hmm. it's a confidentially the problem remains long and long and even even after one or two years only yeah, yeah. the patient confidentially so what about your view about it Yes, that should be yes. kept confidential yes. in the home or not uh, sir the problem is our society still believe that there is a stigma to go uh, going for counseling and all so yes correct this, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. That, that that is a problem existing now that is why uh, all are not ready to reveal their problems and all because they don't want to uh, say others that they are, they are going for counseling others may think that yeah uh, uh, they are having some problem mental issues and all so it will be a stigma in the society that we slowly it is changing but it requires timing okay uh, okay thank uh, you thank you thank you yeah mm -hmm. thank you sir thank you somebody mentioned the homicide and suicide and apart from that one more point is there uh, uh, the confidentiality is necessary to uh, uh, break when regarding the uh, child harm and all okay it is necessary to yeah, protect yeah, a yeah. Child, child from abuse. harm yeah child, child abuse. abuse yeah correct yeah yeah that is also you need to add okay yes 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 sir yes sir because uh, why because uh, they are uh, dependent and yeah, yeah, in the definitely. old age people also we need to report because they old, uh, report old age uh, abuse themselves yes okay that we need to so which is uh, which is mind. against of law whatever comes under against of law should be uh, taken care of is it so sir Mm, especially yes, yeah regarding crime violence yes, threat is, and yeah. uh, child abuse these are the yes. three things hello okay sir. thank you hello hello 
सर मंजूषा दिस I have a doubt uh, regarding this confidentiality. Like uh, yes, sometimes uh, cases can come where uh, the client may be having some uh, neurotic or uh, any other kind of issues, and hmm. he is having insight about the same. Hmm. And due to his neurotic problems, he may be having problems in his family or with his wife. Yes. But yes. Uh, he doesn't want the same to be conveyed to his family, and somehow wants to sort out the relationship. Hmm. so in that case uh, uh, is it wise to convey the problems to his family or wife or we have to still maintain the confidentiality ma'am uh, without his concern or her, her concern if you are actually uh, breaking the confidentiality in this case okay he is having insight it's yeah. a neurotic problem he is having insight but without the concern if, if you are breaking the confidentiality it, it affect your rapport okay in coming okay. session he may discontinue okay so if he has an insight try to convince him and uh, uh, you can inform with his concern okay. okay otherwise it will it affect the counseling okay sir okay sir thank you i'm clear with the doubt uh next uh, thing is this you know the key factors in success in counseling is willingness the client should be willing and uh, uh, the motivation is important uh, he or she should have a uh, motivation to for a growth or change in behavior and all then only we can help and the commitment i think this part onwards we uh, now it's 11 o'clock 116 so uh, we will continue the session uh, now one hour gap is there so 12 12:10 we can meet okay the same link it's okay thanks a lot sir we will sir we'll thank you so much we'll be continuing with the same topic sir same block no no actually uh, some points are remaining after that i will move to the approaches in counseling that is uh, okay. humanistic counseling and uh, uh, this one cognitive behavior and therapy what are you that planning after so, the same unit sir in the same block uh, the same unit right Yeah, yes, yeah. no, same block. I think. Can you send the men? Block that, number. Can uh, she? It can be sent again. Block number two. Uh, sir, Next one. Session. Sir, one doubt. Sir, one Go doubt. Ah, uh, sir, sir. Sorry. Sir. Sir. Ha, hello. Ha, ha, yes. Uh, sir, uh, because I, I was a little bit late to join with you. Sir, the, uh, what you said earlier that it was counseling. Now is counseling session. Is uh, going actually, on? Actually, I divided session. Session has actually two days only allotted for me to complete the theory. So okay. today I am going to uh, cover about the counseling and uh, the what, what is counseling and its principle, ethics and procedure and all. Okay, that okay. almost I covered. Uh, okay. So, uh, next part actually I am going to cover the modality or approaches in counseling. That is a humanistic concept. and uh, okay. this one uh, cognitive behavior okay so i uh, what time we have to rejoin now to now it is 11:10 na uh, 12:10 we can rejoin the same okay link. so thank you sir it's okay. recording the whole class so will we get the link for this why because sometimes the connection is uh, uh yes, yes yes that you need to ask the is <laughs> uh, sender coordinator is there hello i think they are not here sir if i think you share your contact number it will be fine recording this thing so whether she will share the link i don't know anyway i'll ask sir so if you could please share your contact number yeah sure sure i'm i'm typing one second sir i have a doubt sir yeah please uh, uh, sir i have the course material with me and uh, steps in counseling process it is given that assess advise agree and uh, assist and arrange and uh, but you you have given uh, other times attending responding and responsibilizing no oh. that is a uh, different models they are explained in that the uh, the dominant model is karkov's model that only i am taking now okay so we have 
so yeah. we can follow yeah. this attending responding and personalizing yeah. okay sir. excuse me sir can i can i ask you a doubt uh, yes sir uh, regarding confidentiality if you uh, change the name and all because we see many psychologists writing their experiences in magazines and all so uh, are they allowed to do that by changing the name and all yeah, yeah. by changing the name you can do no issue. but uh, uh, you should be very careful you should not mention any this one institution or something like that uh, that uh, uh, because sometimes we can easily uh, identify the person that should be avoided <coughs> Okay, thank you. Uh, sir, one doubt in this class. Yeah. Uh, sir? Yes, yes. Uh, uh, my doubt is this. Uh, if a person brought to us uh, for counseling, uh, oh. uh, what will be the starting point of counseling if that person is not uh, speaking at all? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Uh, Resistant. Uh, if, uh, if he is not uh, ready to open himself, or uh, we don't know any background of that person they, only the uh, person who brought him may be knowing and what he has uh, spoken to us that only we know about him no so what will be our starting point of counseling starting point okay uh, father you are saying that the client is resistant somebody brought yeah. him to for, for for counseling but he is not ready for that yeah yeah okay okay oh. Uh, in that case, uh, do not directly enter into the problem. Okay. Uh, maybe one or two session is required for to build a rapport. Okay. okay maybe okay. initial initial session he may not be talking anything, just a smiling or something like that. It's okay. But do not enter. Do not ask directly uh, the, the problems. If he if you feel that he is more resistant, means first of all uh, build a trust. Uh, and rapport with him by asking the other things like I told you the personal things and all we can explore and make a rapport with him after building a rapport and the trust he 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 will start to explore the resistance is common uh, uh, this one in counseling but uh, we need to tackle that by building rapport and we should be patient do not jump into the uh, this one uh, counseling fast Thank you, sir. Okay, uh, so next session, 12 10, we will meet again. So Bye. after 12 10, again, 2 hours, and then again, by 10, the next session will come. Yeah, I'm, I'm planning actually 4 hours. In between that, 1 hour break, we can take. Okay. Uh, we have the link of this class, sir. Pardon? You have the link of this class? Oh, uh, yes, yes, I have. Can you send it, please? Thanks a lot, sir. Oh. Others, uh, others can actually leave, no problem. No, sure. Hello, sir, are you there? Yeah. yeah. Uh, sir, you said that the first principle is cooperation, uh, cooperative mode, no? Cooperative? Uh, uh, yes. Because that means uh, the counselor and the counselee have uh, should working together. Together, yes. Yes. Okay.